Well, that's the coldest it's been in a while. Let's see if it'll get the snakes going. It may not look like it, but it is uncomfortably cold out here. But I'm hoping that that will be good conditions for flipping some snakes. And once it warms up a little bit, maybe some stuff will come out and bask. We will see. Today is the first day of April, and I consider April to be the best month of the year. So let's see if we can start it strong. Well, I just flipped our first herp of the day under this log. There is another big old red salamander. This was the last find of the day yesterday, which is probably gonna be the last video y'all saw. But check that out. I'm at a completely different spot and I found the same thing. Decent start to the day though, especially considering how cold it is. So I'm just gonna stick this guy back under his log and keep flipping logs, see if I can turn up any snakes. All right guys, check this out. So this is the same tree that I found a Scarlet King snake in a couple weeks ago. And I went to check it last time. He was right here, pulled this back. He was pulled up right there. But I went to pull this one back and look at that. So I think this is the same snake I found last time. I, I really can't tell, honestly. It looks a little different. It looks a lot bigger this time. Um, I don't know if it's just because it has that meal in it or not, but either way, I will take it first snake for the month of April. I'm gonna put him back under his bark and keep looking, see what else I can turn up. So awesome. What a good looking snake. Well, even though it's a recapture, that is a pretty good start to the day, if you ask me. Uh, Greg is here, so I'm going to go try to meet up with him real quick, and we're going to see what else we can turn up. So it feels like it's about 55 now. It's warmed up a little bit, but uh, this habitat has been even more recently burned. So we're walking around checking these stumps to see if anything's hanging out. Surprise, a board. Not surprising, nothing under it. Man, the snakes are not feeling it today. It's about 2 p.m. and we still have not seen anything since Greg and I met up. We've seen some skinks, some other lizards out and about. It's definitely warm enough for snakes to be basking, but we just haven't had any luck. Greg has struck snake at long last. The ever-present ringneck snake. Probably not a good sign this is the only one of these we've seen so far today, if uh, the last video is any indication. Oh Lord, here we go again. Another ringneck. This one's in shed. That's the second ring neck of the day. All right, guys, Greg and I are at our next spot. We we're walking down this road and we see a shadow just starting to slowly cross the road up ahead of us. And this big racer, sure enough. And we managed to sprint up to him, get our hands on him before he could get away. But big, healthy black racer just out crossing the road, 58 degrees. That's about as hot as it's gonna get today, but pretty cool. First big snake of the day. We're just gonna let this guy go and see if we can turn up anything else over here. Hold on, let me get the release. All right. All righty, we're gonna let this guy go back the way he was headed. Which is uh, that way, buddy. All right, guys, we've got two baby corn snakes behind this bark. I'm gonna see if I can grab them real quick. I don't wanna pull it off, we don't have to. All right, can you reach them? No. Let me see. Pull it back a little. I got one of them. Okay. Right there. There's, there's, there's one. one. Ah, got him. Okay. There we go. That's a nice, oh my God, that's a nice corn snake, dude. And we didn't even have to, we didn't have to pull their bark off. Dude. Dude. <laughs> All right, guys, the tiny corn shed, but holy crap, this other corn is incredible. Tiny corn is nice, too. He's got some nice color on him, but this thing is like, it's almost anorthristic. It has hardly any orange on it, and the orange it does have is really faded. Look at that face. Such a nice-looking corn snake. Well, the day has turned around pretty fast. We did start off with the Scarlet King, but Greg didn't get to see that guy because he came afterwards. And it's just been pretty miserable since then, honestly. We found two ring necks, I think, and that's been it until we got these guys in the racer. But what a turnaround for the day. And one little piece of bark, two corns. We didn't even have to pull it off the tree to get them out. So we can just slip them right back in there 
and their home is completely intact. So we're gonna get a couple pictures and I'll give you another look at these guys individually. Look at how different that one's eye color is. The pattern on the mouth is different too. All right, we figured out that these guys actually look much different in the shade than they do in the sun. That is so ridiculous. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, here's another look at the more normal looking corn snake by himself. You can see he does have that grayish coloration towards the end, like a lot of North Georgia corns, but he has these really nice little vibrant patches on his neck, which is more typical of the South Georgia corns. But overall, a more normal looking snake. I'm just gonna get a couple quick photos of this guy while he's sitting still, and then we're gonna let him go. And I will give you a look at the other one. All right, and here's another look at the more interesting looking corn snake. You can see this guy's colors are super faded. And he really he's almost looks like he's anorithristic, where he's just basically black and white, but he does have a little bit of coloration in the brown there. Really just a unique looking snake. Um, definitely one of the cooler looking corn snakes I've ever seen. Surprise! Random cemetery walking through the woods. That is cool and creepy at the same time. Alrighty guys, I am headed out for the day. Unfortunately, it is cooling off really fast because the high today was only 58, so it's getting down almost into the 40s already. So I'm dipping, uh, Greg's headed out too. So we're gonna call it a day here, and I'm gonna head home, and I'm gonna get out again tomorrow. So I don't know if I got enough footage today for a whole video, I'm gonna assume I didn't. Um, so you'll probably see me tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. It's cold again. Should make for some decent flipping though. Let's go see what we can turn out. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, and I am once again back up in Northwest Georgia, and not too far from where I was yesterday. Um, but today we're going to be looking for eastern milk snakes, flipping a lot of rocks, and uh, maybe some artificial cover too. I am going to hit the rocks, and I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. Feels pretty good out here. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna be harping in today, this steep, rocky hillside. Greg's here again. The road is way down there. So we're gonna flip rocks, see what we can turn up. All right, guys, there's our first snake of the day. There's a timber rattlesnake up under this rock. We're just gonna leave it right there for now and hope it comes out to bask a little later when it warms up. Greg has our first in-hand snake of the day. A southeastern crown snake. All right, guys, here's another look at this Tantillo. This is the first in-hand snake of the day since we didn't want to mess with that timber. But we'll probably see more of these guys, so I'm just going to put him back under his rock. Next snake of the day, Titan ring neck. Greg spotted this guy actually starting to come out from under a rock as he was going to flip it. Big one, though. Getting into snakes, and they're everywhere. Look at that. Little baby Tantilla. Yeah, so tiny. Be, uh, milks are going to be wherever this stuff is. Yeah, and you'd think they probably eat these tantilla too. Yeah, exactly. Ring night number two for the day. Tantilla number three, right? Yeah, that's number three. Number three. Next snake and next species of the day. A little eastern worm snake under a rock. It was a big rock, so I missed the NC2, but another species for the day. You've seen plenty of these guys already this year, and you're going to see plenty more, so I'm just going to let him go. Nice reflective coloration on him. Always cool looking snakes. Look at this little man's. Little green boy. Trying to be a stick. That's so weird looking. Another Tantilla. I think this is number five. I don't remember, I'm gonna lose count, so. Greg just slipped another worm snake. Got this one in C2, just chilling under this rock. Good looking little worm snake. Greg with the back-to-back -back worm snakes. Nice. Next snake of the day, there's a little black racer out basking right here. Hey, buddy. Get a picture of him real quick. Oh. You're mighty pretty. 
Do you know that? I don't want to hurt you. Oh! He's coming your way, Greg. Coming, coming, uh, I saw him stop at the you see him right there? He's gonna go in it right there. Oh, I see him now. He's still coming your way. Yeah, he's going to the left. He sees me. Oh, yeah. He's back you. I see him. Come here, bud. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> You're warm. That's a good looking snake. Super yeah, clean. Cool. Did you want to get video of him? Uh, I'm not, yeah. All right. I, I gotta set up the camera real quick so I can, I can get it. I'm gonna pass this guy off to Greg and keep flipping. All right, all right. You ready? Yep. It's like, well, they're not gonna eat me, so I guess I can just continue doing what I was doing. Greg just flipped another Tantilla and another ring neck right here. There's the Tantilla. He already let the ring neck go, but pretty cool. Tons of common snakes. Where are the milks at? Still under the rock. Didn't come out to bask. That's a bummer. Well, I guess we just aren't going to get a better look at her today because I do not, I'm not going to pull her out because this is a regular snake I see year after year, so I don't want to mess up our relationship of leaving each other alone. So. Hopefully she'll be out next time. Two more Tantilla under back-to-back -back rocks. A lot of these guys out, and a lot of them up here. Pretty cool. Still no bigger snakes though, aside from that one racer in the timber that hasn't come out. Well, here's our weird snake for the day. Super lightly colored ring neck. I didn't even reckon, I thought it was a Tantilla under the rock because of the weird lighting, but super light gray, like a almost like a Western ring neck cool but in the end it is a ring neck so i'm just gonna let him go <laughs> <laughs> so we're going down this stupid steep hillside and i went around like flying around the back side of this tree and greg was going around this side and he spotted that boy a little gray rat on the crawl it's cold as balls he's just on the crawl he is like straight up cold to the touch look at you really pretty that well today's been decently good already we did get a rattlesnake even though we didn't get a really good look at it this guy tons of little fossorial snakes and i think what it's probably not even one o'clock right now so we're gonna let this guy go and go to another different spot and see if we can turn up anything else over there all right guys greg just flipped a rat snake under this cinder block let me get a picture of him real quick and then we'll grab him stinky mug jesus that's definitely a rough looking rat. Oh, this is a snake though. Pretty cool. He's got some length to him. That's actually not a four foot snake. It's just skinny. I don't know, maybe three and a half. Just double flip these guys. Two more ring necks for the day. Alright, got a little pin here. A racer. Really? Yeah. He's actually got this stacked. Nicely done, Dylan. The stacked tin produces. Yeah, he's starting to crawl off. You want me to get him out? He's got that same thing going on with his tail that the other one did yesterday. That weird, the dent. Those eyes are so blue. I don't think I've ever seen a snake with like that blue, intense of blue in shed eyes. Yeah. It's crazy. There's a lot of milk in there. Well, that's not cool. There is a basking while dead milk snake right there. It's an ugly one, but it's a milk snake and it's just hanging out dead. Worm snake. At least this one's alive. There's this nice big rock. Should have had a milk snake. All right, guys, it's 3.30. I'm out here walking some edges now. Just hoping to see something out basking. It's fairly warm, probably like 68, 70 degrees. 
bumblebee. Um, there has been a lot of snake activity on the surface, so just hoping to see something out. But it's getting kind of late. We might not get our milk snake today.